Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I want to start that again because my throat. <coughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing really, really well. So today I'm going to do a psychology video. I haven't done a psychology video in so long. I really wanted to do this video because I've been talking a bit to my friends who are going to start uni soon and um, I thought I would do a video about me studying psychology at uni and my experiences and what I loved and what I hated and some tips um, for you guys who want to study psychology at uni. Um, so yeah, I think before I even begin, <laughs> psychology is such a good subject. I love it so much and there is so much you can do with psychology. Um, so if you are thinking about studying psychology, I hope this video helps you out a little bit. Um, and yeah, let's just start with the video. <laughs> so I'm just going to do it in um, a kind of general like my experience what I liked about the course and then what I didn't like that much and then some tips at the end. Um, so to begin my experience, I loved it. I really, really um, feel really happy that I chose psychology. I went into it uh, being interested in psychology and I wish I went into it being passionate about psychology as I am now. So that is two different things that I think are very important and I think I'll get to it in the tips part but um, I genuinely really enjoyed it I enjoyed the course content I enjoyed my uni um, and I enjoyed my friends I think my friends played a huge part in it not just because of the social aspect of university but they were so helpful like during exams like we had like group revision and during lessons in general I loved it and I don't regret studying psychology and I'm gonna study um, in September more I'm gonna do my masters so I bloody love psychology. <laughs> uh, so my favourite thing, or my favourite part of the course, was probably the third year. I really loved being able to pick my modules, the ones I wanted to study the most. I picked um, two forensic ones and I think one neuropsychology one. Um, and I, that was my favourite thing. Like I, I loved those three courses so much, really the forensic ones, like those are my favourites. Um, I really liked uh, the course content and how it was like laid out. Um, we had lectures and seminars and um, I, I actually can't like, I can't um, complain about anything. I think I chose a subject that I really, really enjoyed in that was taught really well I think in our uni. I'm, I'm guessing loads of people can disagree people in my course who had a hard time but I like if we're going to get to the part that I don't like this is the part I don't like my second year was so difficult for me I had so many exams and so many assignments and I also went on holiday because I go on holiday every Christmas and that's when we had the most assignments and I was struggling so much apart from that I was going through so much anxiety and the sadness um I my mom wasn't in the country I was living alone with my dad my dad was barely here I was basically alone 24 7 um I was struggling with so much anxiety like getting on the trains and even getting out of bed like I didn't oh my gosh it was really bad I was going through a breakup I was it, it wasn't a good time so I think that's why my second year was kind of like ruined but um apart from that it was alright, and I think third. Year, I think I saw it as in like first year was so good. The second year was going downhill, but then third year was back at being like really good. So it went like that. So now we're gonna get onto the tips, um, and these are just things that I wish someone told me before I studied psychology, before I began my course. Um, so hopefully these things will help you. And let me just grab my phone because otherwise I'll probably forget a few. So the first one is that difference between being interested in psychology and being passionate about psychology. And I think, sorry, my glasses are falling down. I think this is so, so important for someone who is gonna begin um, studying, not just psychology, but any course. Um, because the difference is that when you're interested in something, that interest can come and go. And an interest is something that you just wanna learn about, but you're fascinated by the, the fact of it being something new that you're learning and something that makes you wonder things and makes you oh that's quite interesting do you know what I mean like it's not something that you continually want to um maybe explore 
to the depths of you maybe finding something new than what you've been told, if that makes any sense. But then when you're passionate about psychology, it's like you want to make a difference, you want to make a change, you want to make an improvement in something. And I think that's very important in studying psychology because like there can be an area that you're interested in but then that's it you read about it you find out about it cool that was very cool to know i'll go and tell someone else but when you're passionate about it it really drives you to deep dig in deeper and to do your own research and to ultimately maybe do your dissertation on it or will have a career in it so make sure you find an area in psychology which you are passionate about and i think that will really really help you um i went into it loving psychology and being interested in it interested in it and then throughout the year I well the first year I kind of realized my passion and I'm guessing people already know what it is because of my previous videos but I really love everything to do with criminal behavior and offenders and their families and what I'm most passionate about is being able to work with them to change um change their um their risk of reoffending when they come out and also preventing any um risks in their families like their younger brothers and sisters going into prison as well and the struggles that they face with um their communities so i think if you find a passion it will be a great motivation to keep working really hard but also you know the passion develops over the years so if you are just interested in it and you're still going for it then that's so good because you are going to develop a passion and if you don't it's not the end of the world, like there was people in my course who dropped it and studied something else so I guess it's not the end of the world and um, yeah. <laughs> my second tip would be read, simply read. I know sometimes it's so hard and it's so annoying having to read but honestly it will help you so 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 much especially reading journal articles and like um, studies and everything because all of those studies, they all have the same kind of layout, you know, the abstract, the introduction, the method section. The more you read those studies, the more you'll have in your mind set out what a research paper has to be like. And then on your third year, it's so, so, so much easier to write out your dissertation. Um, the more you read it, it's also you'll get used to how to write up results and how to explain results and the different, the different type of ways to analyze um, data, um, quantitative or qualitative, you get to read, the more you read, the more you just get used to um, research. My third tip goes into that and it's about practicing how to write up your results. It's so, so hard sometimes to write up results. For me, that was one of the hardest things. I think it was because stats was really hard. Research methods was really hard for me. Like, it was something that I, I hated, to be honest. Uh, but I actually learned to love it by the end of it. And I actually got quite high marks in it, which I was very surprised by. So, um, the more you practice how to write the results, but I, what I mean is, like, if you don't know psychology, you probably won't understand this, but, like, when you get a correlation or a significant difference and all of that, when you write it down and then you put, like, the p-value and all of that, um, that is what I mean, practicing to write up those results, because the more you practice it, like, you would just get it, and then it's so much easier to write it on an exam or in your dissertation. My next tip is take notes in lectures. Um... I know that they give you notes, well I don't know if they still do, I think they still do, they give you notes and lectures and they put up the slides online and you download them or you take them into the, within your computer and your tablet or whatever, but honestly guys, those slides are so limited, um, what the uh, lecturer or the teacher or the researcher says has so much more information than what's on those um, notes. Those notes are basically just bullet points and sometimes they don't include everything. Sometimes it's just a name of a past of a, a literature search, Milgram, whatever, the date, 19, whatever his study was. I really wish I knew it so I could show off and be like, oh, I know Milgram's study is in 1973, 4? But I know I'm wrong. Anyway, my next tip is a volunteer. Um, I know sometimes some people want to focus a lot on their studies or they have part-time jobs but volunteering is so important during your degree and I think it's best to do it in the first year or yeah just the first year because second year is so hard but yeah in your first year your results don't really count towards um, your final grade so you have a bit more 
freedom I guess to um, have some time to volunteer and it's so so important because when you get to third year some courses do have a module where you need to complete a certain hours of volunteering and if you've really done it in your first year it just helps so much and in general it helps with your CV please try and get some volunteering done maybe just one hour a week and try and do it in somewhere where you want to work in make the best of first year of the time you get in first year and do your volunteering then instead of leaving it till third year my next tip is about dissertation. So I would suggest that you guys establish a relationship with whoever you want to be your supervisor in your first year. Um, I was lucky enough to do this, but I know that some people left it until third year to kind of think about who they wanted as a supervisor. The moment you meet lecturers or you meet academics or researchers in your uni who are going to, who are, could be your supervisors make sure you try and like pick out which ones you'd actually want to work with because it's just so much easier it really helps if they know your work already like my supervisor i had volunteered with him twice before he was my supervisor so yeah make sure you establish a relationship with them and it will help also for when you have meetings or like if you're ever late or anything like that they won't get mad because they know you one of my friends like they had a supervisor who would never see them never reply to the text of the messages and stuff like that is so horrible because for your third year you need that supervisor so badly i am so blessed because my supervisor was so so nice he was actually quite scary but he was so so nice and he would meet up with me so often and helped me so much in the results and everything i had over 10,000 participants in my dissertation so my dissertation was massive and he helped me so much when it came to the spss and um if you don't know about psychology you probably won't understand what i'm talking about but in terms of like um um, I did a syn syntax, syntax, I think that's what it's called. So basically I wrote like a, I did like a calculation which I could just press play and it would run through my SPSS and then I'll get an output instead of having to do the, um, on SPSS having to um, run the, um, the test on the data each time I would just press play and it would do it automatically so he helped me do all of that and there was just so many things that um, he really helped me with and um yeah, so I was so, so glad I chose a really good supervisor. So make sure you choose a good supervisor and make sure you establish a relationship with them in first year instead of just like meeting them for the first time in third year. My next tip about a dissertation would be, sorry, I'm just reading my notes. Um, oh, it will be about um, really picking wisely what you're going to study. Don't go for an easy option. Go for something that you uh, want to change and want to see an improvement in because then that will help you work towards kind of taking what's already been done and working on it and improving whatever has been found or finding alternative explanations to whatever you're studying, whatever you're investigating. My next tip would be um, make sure you read over your work very wisely um, I feel like sometimes in a rush of the moment you will just submit your work because you want to get over and done with but honestly reread your work I would hate rereading my work because I was like doubting myself so much but it's so good if you reread your work because the more you reread it the more you'll see the mistakes you make so make sure you read it loads of times before you submit it and my last tip would be choose your friends wisely at university honestly guys I know everyone is friendly and nice and whatever but you really need to pick people and it's okay to be picky with friends you're meant to be picky with friends you're not meant to chill with people who are not going to push you forward but drag you backwards you know what i mean so i mean be friendly with everyone but really choose the people who are um always willing to work willing to attend meetings group meetings um people who are focused on what they're doing who want to get a good degree make sure you're organized enough to have time to chill and to socialize with friends and whatever but also make sure you prioritize your work and find friends who also prioritize sorry guys my camera legit just cut off so I'm sorry but um I think I was talking about prioritizing your work yeah make sure you prioritize your work above all other things so you can get good marks and make the best of your degree I think that's it I can't think of any more tips but um yeah 
if anyone has any questions about psychology, about going to uni and studying psychology, make sure you comment them below. Good luck if you're going to study psychology at uni. I wish I could go back. I am going to study again in September, but I mean, I could wish I could go back to undergraduate um, study. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I love you all so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Oh, I